Hey everybody, Chuck here, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. My buddy Kim, N6YJ, brought me something that he's had for, since he bought it new, never opened the box. And that, let me get the number right here, is a A14420T from Cushcraft. It's a two meter uh, antenna that uh, does vertical, so vertical, and it does horizontal all at the same time. It has 10 elements on each vertical and horizontal and it's on 11 foot boom so let's uh put, let's put this thing together and check out how it goes and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up my uh my little tripod throw up the boom on there start putting things together and see if we can get this together and then later what i'm going to try and do after i get it together figure out how i can put this thing together pretty fast to take it to a couple of the uh, peaks around here i have a couple of sodas around here that uh would do pretty good on two meter on um, either sideband or FM. And with this antenna, I can do both with a flip of the switch on my 991A. So I got this box, it's open now. But when I, when I received this from my buddy Kim, this thing had never been opened. And I was kind of surprised to see, if you look in here, let me see if I can get this where you can see it. It says the mall the Mall of New Hampshire. I'll try to actually, I, I can't get it too close, but hopefully you can read that. And then over here, it says uh, Mall of New Hampshire, July 1979. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to blow it up for you. So this, what I, I believe is an, an original Kushcraft, not a uh, MFJ Kushcraft. Okay, in the box, it uh, has a lot of parts. Here's the instructions. Still still never been opened. Um, it's, sealed, it's still sealed up. Looks pretty good. The newspapers are all yellow. That's typical. Uh, over here, we have the hardware kit. And there's a lot of hardware there, guys. Um, this is the mount for the, uh, the boom to the mast. We have a... I'll show you, I'll break them up here a little bit. We have two sets of radials, or uh, elements, excuse, excuse me. And I, I think they're exactly the same, it's just duplicates of everything. Then we have, if you look here, there's three different boom sections that go together. I mean, that's easier to see all three. Then we have this, and what this does, it allows you to use, I haven't read the instructions yet, but uh, basically you hook up both antennas, or both vertical and, and horizontal, and I think it what it does is it brings it into just one feed point, so you can switch back and forth in the, in the um, I guess the radio knows exactly where to go on its own. I don't, I, I've, I've never used an antenna like this, so it's new to me too. And then we have your two gamma matches. I believe that's what those are called and those they're they're not adjusted yet so we'll have to adjust those per instructions and that's all the parts um i mean not a ton of parts but when you start putting 20 20 elements into a uh, an antenna it might take some time these uh what they have is if you look here there's a hole so there's no no alignment problems as far as that goes and then they all have something similar to this one here where it has this little bracket here, and this little bracket sits on the thing and centers the uh, centers and keeps the elements from going back and forth. Okay, first of all, I wanted to show you, my wife bought this for me, this little tray. It's got a little rubber in the bottom so things don't really fly around. And what a great gesture she did. She goes, well, it was kind of because when I was doing one of my builds, uh, for one of the online builds, I kind of uh, dropped something. And she goes, the, she goes, use this thing from now on. So I've got parts kind of separated in there, the small parts. I've got the screws, the big screws here, and I've got my U-bolts, my um, bracket, and then I think this holds the two, well, it holds the three boom parts together. So let me get this boom together. I know I was going to try to get it. I just wanted to show you this thing. It's, uh, I think she just got it at the, at the, at the supermarket. Pretty cool. And like I said, it's got the rubber in the bottom, so once you get things in here, they don't really slide around too bad. Okay, actually, before I put this together, I want to show you guys one thing. So these are the two outside boom um, boom members. And if you look right here, 
they've marked them to where how far they go in. So pretty nice. Uh, that probably won't last. It looks like just like marker, but we'll figure a way of making that a little more permanent. Okay, I just wanted to show you. This is how I'll probably leave these with the everything already put together. It has a the screw goes through, has a star washer, then the little piece of uh, tubing that they've cut down to size, and then the part that goes against the boom, and then the nut. So I just wanted to show you that, and well, let me just show you what I got so far. So it's, it's really bright out here, guys, but. Uh, so here's, here's how they line up. I have found that some of these here don't quite, like these are just a little hair too long maybe. I may have to shave them down a little bit with a file. And then, I'm not sure if this is right yet, but here's the, uh, the two gamma matches. And I will, when you look down this thing, it's not perfectly straight. Like, I mean, the, it could be just the, uh, the way these are put together right now, I don't have them tight yet. So, but that's just kind of the way it goes down. And then I'll show you one thing on the other side there. And then just all the way down, I still got two more to put on. But when you look at this, <laughs> it wasn't in the instructions, but I found it on different instructions. There's this little spacer in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a piece of tubing. I think it's 3 8 tubing. Uh, let me see. Yeah, right there. That's actually easier to see that one. And, and then you put a washer, then the lock washer, and then that, that's kind of hokey. Um, I think it might have been made for, the U-bolts the are too long is what it is. And so, and I think these might be for something, there were something else that you might be able to put on, like a rotor. I don't understand why it would be like that. But uh, maybe just one size fits all, you know. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably change these to a, a smaller U-bolt, a shorter U-bolt. So I don't have to use that because that's kind of a pain. But other than that, it went together pretty easy. Okay, so this is how I've got the uh, coax routed for now. I think uh, I think it's okay like that. I need to check and see, but uh, the instructions are pretty vague. Right now, it's only about six feet off the ground. You guys can see this here. Let me turn it around over here. That's about all I can really get with this setup here, the way it is. But uh, SWR is pretty good, but uh, I, I don't want to adjust anything. I did notice that I, I changed these, the, the uh, driven units, because the measurements on the uh, on a website, the, the, the instructions that came with it looks like there was missing some, like at least one page. but. Uh, the distances are different for vertical to horizontal. So I switched them and everything's, I mean, certain areas, it's really like one on FM 140, 147 area. It's like really good. Uh, 146, you know, somewhere in the middle, it's has a little bit SWR. The highest I saw was three to one. Uh, and I think, I don't, I think some of this could be just maybe getting things routed better and just it's just preliminary I don't, I don't really all I have is my radio to check it so uh, unless I borrow one from my buddy again the guy that actually gave this to me to, to try out has the uh, that comment that I did the test on before the review so until I put on a pole and get it up a little higher I'm not going to change anything because uh, and I, I have heard some people talking uh, the, it seems to pick up pretty well, even at six feet. So, um, one of the repeaters, it's probably about 30 miles from me. It was picking it up like, <laughs> it was, the, the people were pretty loud. So for now, until I put this on a different pole that I can get up at least 10 feet, um, I'm not going to touch anything. So that's where I'm at for now. I copy that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the, one of the most used switches in the whole house, if not the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember back in the 70s? I remember when I was a kid, all my friends. There's it in whipped cream. <laughs> There's more whipped cream. So than the difference pumpkin between pie. six feet really and amazing. ten feet. If you see the, uh, he's in the red by quite a bit. So he's 30 over now. Oh, I don't know. I love before. to cook shrimp scampi. It's just going up four feet. Um. Let's see. 
Okay, so here's going to be the turn to wheel. Ah, oh, jeez, what a push. Just about S, well, he's about uh, S9. A good ribeye is the way to go. So. Well, have you ever looked at the there. price of meat nowadays? Holy crapatola. Okay, everybody. I did. I had some problems with the tuning on this thing on the vertical side uh, uh, for the FM portions, and I, I got to thinking about it. And I, I, I'd never really take this thing out portable and set up both ways. I would just take the uh, the clamps in the middle and just rotate the antenna. So I did. I did get it tuned really well for horizontal for 140, 144, 200 for the sideband portion of the band and also on 146.520 for the FM uh, calling frequency area. So it's really good there. Uh, 1.3, I think, on the 520, and the SSB is like 1.1, something like that. Even Actually, less than that once, once I got it up about 10 feet. And really, it just it will take me less time to set it up now. Uh, and Basically, on a, on a peak, I'm not going to really put it up more, probably more than 10 or 15 feet, and so it wouldn't take it very long to take it down just, and just rotate it in the amp boom, and it's plenty good enough. And I, and I really don't need it for anything like uh, repeaters because I've got my J-Pole. I can use that for that. I'll probably take it, I'll probably take it up on peak here, local. It's about 4,000 feet, if I remember right, and see how it does. I might even use a HT for uh, the FM portion just to see how... Uh, how one watt or less does, and, and I think this thing will get out pretty good. The gain on it's pretty good. I do, what I did is I, I found, there was no instructions on how to tune this thing, really, and how to set it up originally, and what I did find online was some, some pretty good instructions on a newer antenna, but the same antenna. They call it a 148 now, I think, instead of a 144. And there was measurements on the, uh, you have to set things on that gamma match, and I know how to do that now. Uh, and I, I actually, after I read them, I redid the, uh, the horizontal portion and it, it was really good. It's pretty wide, nice motorcycle, huh? Going down the freeway. And so I think it'll work pretty good. And if this thing was on a tower, different story. I'd really be worried about, I really would like having both, um, vertical and horizontal because then you actually don't have to do anything to it and you have both so if you like this video hit that like button and if you are new here try uh try try try, try subscribing um i think you'll like the channel if you're into ham radio and if you don't you can always unsubscribe and when you do hit that all that way you get all my new vehicle or new <laughs> vehicles that way you get all my new videos this is chuck kk6 usy for ham radio ventures uh 73 all Catch you on the airwaves and you guys all be safe.